What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, A. Nicole, and I am here to... Can I help you, ma'am? Bitch. Oh, not, not, ma'am. Not on, not on the altar. You, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Not on the altar. Okay. I make you your own, but you can't be on my altar. Um... That's what I was saying. Welcome to A. Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A. Nicole. And I am here to deliver a general reading for my baby boo. So please come on in. Thank you all for pressing play, making me a part of your day. I am going to be channeling general messages for you all. Only take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Shout out to the members of my boo crew. You all are receiving first dibs and first looks and early access to this video a day early. I hope you enjoy. Okay. Um... Shout out to my baby boos. I'm sorry, I'm watching this thing. Oh, she went way down. Shout out to my baby boos um, who've been hitting my tip jar um, and who have been scheduling their one on one readings with me. Friendly reminder that all month, all, all 30 minute sessions booked in the month of September, it doesn't have to be in September and it can't be anyway because um, my appointment book is booked through. I think I'm in the first week of August, I mean August, October now. And I think I only have one day in October as of this video. Um, for the first week of October, maybe we're in the second week. Um, but they are $30 off, okay? My 30-minute um, tarot sessions are $30 off. I will leave that information below. As well as if you want to join um, my Boo Crew membership, you all get bonus videos. I just dropped a video. Um, it'll, be yes it'll be yesterday for my boo crew members today for everyone else but um for everyone else i dropped a bonus video um yesterday um about um the building blocks of building an ancestral altar um i get asked a lot about altar setting what goes on an altar um how to build an altar why an altar why is an altar important what is it for so I broke down the essentials of an altar and the building blocks, okay? So make sure you head over and check out that video. If you have any questions um, or if you have any, um, you know, you need guidance or whatever as it relates to the video or you building your own altar, drop it in the comments so I can um, respond. I am going to, I'm planning another um, live for us. Um, for the Q&A for next week Monday okay so I'll, I'll put more information out about that towards the end of the week okay all right but for the meantime in between time y'all only take what resonates in this video so I am starting off with my what's the vibe deck and we about to see what the hell the vibe is we about to see what's going on okay spirit what's the vibe spirit what energy would you like me to tap into for my baby booze what is the energy that you would like for me to tap into for my baby booze what is the vibe spirit thank you okay waves is here some of you all could be dealing with a lot of emotions tumultuous emotions it says emotions worry and fear what's this narcissist i'm not going through this again could be dealing with somebody who is um, very narcissistic, egotistical, opportunist, or fragile. Let me put his ass back in the deck. I was going to say, if that came back out, I was going to get antisocial. Ooh, in your feelings, silent treatment left out. So, yeah, some of you all could be in your emotions about being left out. You know, getting the silent treatment. Some of y'all could even be giving people the silent treatment because y'all in y'all feelings. Y'all going through the going through. Y'all on an emotional roller coaster. You know, you could be the one antisocial. You could be the one in your head, in your energy, in your shell. Apology and shattered. Mm. This came out last time, too, and I shuffled the hell out of this deck. Somebody could have shattered you. That's why you could be in your emotions. Somebody could owe you an apology, or maybe you did something to someone. Remember, take the energy as it connects. Sometimes I may be talking about a person and mean you. Sometimes I can be talking about you and mean a person. Sometimes I can say mom and mean your father. 
you know, brother and me, your sister. So, you know, change it around as necessary. But somebody's in their feelings. Somebody's in their feelings with emotions, worry, fear, anxiety. You could be feeling left out, left out in the cold, forgotten about. What else, spirit? Isolation. Rejected, left alone, self-inflicted. What is going on? What is going on? Left alone, left out, rejected, self-inflicted. Are you somebody's feeling you may be feeling like you've been rejected by someone, left out, left in the shadows by someone? You could be in your feelings about that. Hmm. Apology. Apology again. I need to get my um my charger. Apology again is here. Maybe you know you hmm. This could be somebody isolated, feeling rejected because they played too many games with you and now they're feeling alone. Now they want to come apologize. I'm hearing that song. It's too late. What is it? Is it too late? Is it too late? Is it to apologize? I forget how that song goes, but it's too late to apologize or something like that. Is it too late? Shit, is it? Let me know. Some of y'all, if this is what somebody owes you, if this is how somebody's thinking about you, Spirit is saying for a lot of y'all, it's too late to apologize. It's time to apologize in that trash. Okay, Apollo trash. Apollo landfill. Okay, and that's not Francais. Let's see, what else, Spirit? Somebody could have had a love affair. Somebody could have had some shit on the down low. A dirty little secret, a sex fix. My God. Hi, Leo. Hi. Hi. Somebody could have cheated on you, stepped out on you. Somebody could also be afraid because I'm looking at this waves, worry, fear. They could be afraid that you find out about it. Fearful that you found out about it. Because I also see this paranoid card. You know. And then here's the consequences. So somebody found out about it. Somebody found out about it. Somebody found out about it. Two, four. Two, four. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Okay. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me plug in my thing. I said it's too late to apologize. Is it too late? What is this y'all got on this floor? I don't know if y'all can see that. I think that's my little napkin from when I had my, my, uh, I be busting down these pupusas. Um, they're bean and cheese. Now, when I was younger, I used to do the whole spill and um, put everything, the meat in there too. But now, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a vegetarian. Um, I like them with the bean um, and the cheese. The queso and that cabbage, I'd be like, repollo extra, por favor. Okay, my mean, repollo extra. Give me that extra cabbage, all right? So... I think she got into my my napkin because I was busting that dung earlier. But anyway, love affair. <sighs> Some of you may even be guarded because you found out about a love affair. Now you're isolated. Now you're antisocial. Now you don't want to put yourself out there. Now you want to lock yourself up. Now you, oh, I'll never love again. Oh, no. And y'all ain't going to hurt nobody but yourself. Nobody but yourself. And I'm not going to stand on my soapbox and preach that. Because y'all know what I preach about that all the time. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Is it too late to apologize? I might even name this uh, video that. But let me skip through, through the rest of this. Mm, yeah, somebody was chasing some thrills. Somebody made a bad decision. 
I don't know. I feel like for some of you all, and I don't like this feeling. Y'all haven't found out yet. Somebody you're dealing with, you know, could be sneaking and freaking, and they're hoping that you don't find out. But I feel like a lot of you all, if you haven't found out, you have an idea. Like, with these waves, like, your intuition is really kicking your ass, like, to try to get your attention about this. Puzzled, perplexed, conflicted. Some of you all could be giving someone the silent treatment. They don't know why, or they could be giving you the, the silent treatment, and you don't know why. It's because they clocking in hours with somebody else. With they old whole smut ass. Mm. You could be feeling left out. Somebody could be giving you the cold shoulder. Picking fights with you. Picking shit so y'all can fall out. So they can do what they want to do. I just. People on people. What else spirit? If the messages are resonating for you. I ask that you please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy. Envy, my God. Envy. So somebody you're dealing with, you could have rejected them or left them alone. You could have found out they were envious, or they do envy you. What is this person lighting in the back? Oh. They could be doing magic on you. They could be wanting something to harm you. Scared, not scared. Well, yeah, they could be scared of you. You could be very intimidating. He, a lot of people, and take it from somebody who has a strong presence. Take it from a manifester. You know, where when I walk in a room, when I walk into a space, I come in and I catalyze. Either you're, I'm, going to, I'm going to catalyze you or I'm going to repel you. It's one of the two. You know, so a lot of times um, when people are envious of you, it's how your energy makes them feel. And that's one of the things that I had to realize. It's not even personal. You know, that's your energy um, responding to mine. And you sometimes can't even. It's like a, a lot of times I'm the queen of, oh, when I first met you, I thought, oh, I thought you were this. I thought, well, now you need to think. No, I need you to know to stay the fuck away from me. Okay? But, yeah, a lot of people, you know, what's that Nas, Nas quote? People fear what they don't understand. Hate what they can't conquer. You know, when people know that you're a force, when people know that you're sure of yourself, when people know that you're assertive, you know, and you're confident and you're ambitious and you're courageous and you're, you take authority over your life and over your space, motherfuckers be thrifting, be tossing and turning. Hmm. Not a psychopath. Now, where does this motherfucker come from? abusive conniving unpredictable y'all could have been dealing with a paranoid ass um a, i was about to say something else a paranoid a psychopath y'all know i'm still a mental health professional i can't i can't i can't key key too much with y'all on this can't key key too too much with y'all because i don't need no oh nicole how good you are you supposed to be yeah Somebody's been dealing with somebody who is psycho dico. Paranoid. They could be feeling isolated. Especially if you have this person out in the cold because of you, you're making them face the consequences of what they did to you. You know, they were playing games with you. It says mixed signals, bad choices. <sighs> Not my dog sighing in the back. You could even be puzzled. Like, why Why doesn't this person like me? Why is this person insecure? Why is this person envious of me? Why is this person da-da-da-da-da? Because maybe you, you. That's why. You, you. You, you. It really doesn't take much. After that, you're you. Laughter. Happiness, joy, healing, baby. They're facing the consequences. I'm here and laugh now. Cry later. It was cute, my dude. A few moons ago. Now look, 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 look at him. Hmm. Them tears is running. What is this on her face? Oh shit! Nothing being matches. Yeah, what I say? Now they gotta, they gotta light them, them tears up. This person was playing with fire. They thought things was a game, and now they're facing the consequences. Yikes! Somebody was chasing thrills. Having a little dirty little secret. 
Somebody could have been on the down low too. You know, hmm, made a bad decision. And now they in isolation. Now they feeling rejected. Now they feeling out, left out in the cold. Well, and these are the breaks. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Mass, hiding, concealing, deception, right underneath love affair. Yeah, somebody was hiding something from you. Somebody is hiding something from you because somebody hasn't found out yet. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Actually, I love being the bearer of bad news because you need to move on. Blink, blink, blink. You need to move on. Yeah, somebody's masking something. Somebody is down low, bro. Down low ho. Um, has a dirty little secret. Ooh, something's coming over. Ooh, something's coming over me. My baby's got a secret. Ciao. My brother used to sing that song when we were younger and my mother was not having that shit. Like, stop singing that. Don't sing that. Like, my mom, and my mom was a Gemini. She, kiki, kiki, no, stop singing that. But he would be like, my baby's got a secret. And I would be like, no. Yeah, she wasn't playing the radio with him singing that song. Um, Masculine energy, yeah. So your person with this masculine energy See, this is why I just, somebody, it could be their man, could be on the down low, nobody has to know. They could have a man, my boy's got a boyfriend, Chevy Blue Leg Whirlwind. Or somebody could be dealing with the masculine and they're having an affair, they're hiding something. Somebody's masculine is like, who the fuck is this? I'm not a masculine. I met this dude, um, I met this dude on the app over the weekend, and he just gave me his number, and I was like, what the hell I look like? I, I'm old-fashioned. You want to talk to me? I'll give you my number. You reach out to, what the fuck? And this nigga is, like, <laughs> older. Like, I mean, dude. Absolutely. You, 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 come on, come on, unk. You, you, you from old school. What, what, what you, 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 now you acting like a baddie? I don't know. Mm-mm. So that's him. Yeah. Uh, here's my number. What you giving that to me for? If you want to give me a number, you need to give me a credit card number. Okay, with the zip and the code on the back or the front if it's an Amex. Okay? But, uh, phone number? No. You, you, you're, you want to talk to me. Okay, what the hell? I was, and to be honest with you, I was a little turned off about that. So, I'll keep y'all abreast on this, but, yeah. I was like, dude, what the, what, nigga? Mid-40s? What are you, what, what are you doing? Uh-uh, and my profile says. But yeah, I'm going to reach out to you. Anyway, anything else, spirit? Something's coming over. Mm -hmm. Today, now in the moment, good vibes, hmm. intimacy, mutual respect, unity, closeness. Yeah, I feel like <sighs> somebody's going to find out something with they do soon. Or like it could be today. Because you know it's Libra season. And Libra season is about that karma, that cause and effect, them consequences, them judgments. You know, Libra is an air sign. Communication, talk, messages, information, gossip. Apology. This keeps coming. I'm trying to tell you, is it too late to apologize? <sighs> Apology has came out many times i lost count hopeful yeah somebody if this person has already done this to you they're hopeful they're optimistic that they can apologize and come back and recharge this unit union 
you know, but for a lot of you, y'all didn't let them go. A lot of y'all want to clear your mind. You could be on a break. Some of you all may have already found this out and you're like, I just need to clear my mind. I need to get myself together. You know, I need to, you know, I need some time to think about this. You really hurt me, you know, and all of this stuff and, and everything. I'm just, I'm trying to think about what somebody would say in a situation like this. Because for me personally, cheating is not forgivable. I don't, I've never forgiven anybody who cheated on me. You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. So I'm trying to think of a script. What would someone say if they were taking someone back for cheating? I will. Uh, and I'm, I'm drawing a blank. But, you know, you could be like, I just need some time to think. I just, I, you just really hurt me. How am I doing, y'all? You just really hurt me. Um, so they helpful. They give you some space. You'll come back or, you know, they apologize and shit like that. Family just came upside down. This could have turned y'all family upside down. This could even be somebody from your family, a blood tie, somebody from your inner circle. It could be a guy best friend, a guy friend. Because we be going through it, you know, with our friends from the opposite sex as well. I be going through it sometimes with my little guy friends, my platonic guy friends, you know. Let me see. You know, with all connections, with all relationships, you know, there's ups and downs. But baby, you ain't about to take me to hell and back. I don't mind an up and down. I don't mind a little seesaw. But when we 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 start talking about Satan and Lucifer and Hades, and you want me to go down there and it's hot down there and all what? No, I don't. I don't. Yeah, baby, don't even don't even worry about me. Let me go ahead and grab my coat and get on. Anything else, spirit? If the messages are resonating for you, I ask that you all please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so happy. Thank you. Boundaries is here. Spirit is saying, no, enough is enough. Defend yourself. Set your boundaries. Don't take this person's disrespect. Let them live with the consequences of their actions. You know, and a lot of you all are planning to do just that. You set a boundary. Ooh, burnt bridge. What I tell you? A lot of you all is like, no, I don't trust you anymore. It says lack of trust, disloyal, turn back on. Yeah, I feel like this is this person's energy. This is why they feel isolated and antisocial. They're in their feelings. You're giving them the silent treatment. Right, they're feeling left out. Like for a, a lot of you all, this person, it's like that laugh now, cry later. And now it's time to cry. No more laughs. No more laughs. You use your laugh, laugh up. No more laughs. Now it's crying. You need to be. You need to be crying. You need to be crying. You need. No, 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 no. You need to be crying. Okay. Down, down the, down the cheeks. Okay. Ugly cry. Go. No more. No more laughing. Okay. Cat Williams has left the building. Healing. Now you're focusing on your self care. A lot of you all could be getting into meditation, holistic health, introspection. Some of you all are thinking about, you know, hey, how can I not let somebody have me fucked up like this again? You know, like you're healing, you're unpacking, you know, you're having an epiphany. I got a feeling that, um, I'm trying to tell you that eclipse, full moon that just came by, like that really rocked a lot of people like down, like that really, yeah, yeah. What else, spirit? Smell the roses. This person wishes they could have smelled the roses, stopped and smelled the roses with you. They were too busy chasing thrills. They was too busy having fun, funning it up. They was too busy focusing on today and not the future. And now they didn't burn the bridge with you. Mm -hmm. Spirit is asking you to get out in nature. I feel like that's y'all, like I just said. You're meditating, you're focusing on holistic health. Hmm. Not sipping. Rumors, gossip, nosy. So somebody could be talking about whatever happened between y'all or you could have found out through the grapevine or this person, especially if you have left this person out, out in the cold, like you, you know, with that boundaries, you block them, like you've cut all contact with them. They could be trying to talk to you all's mutuals to see what's going on with you, trying to get in contact with you. But yeah, this person is hopeful. They're hopeful that one day, you know, you'll forgive them. One day, y'all will be back to what y'all used to be. 
You know, people can run you through the fucking mud and still have the goal. They are always going to have audacity. Always. Always going to have audacity and hope. Okay? This movie theater don't play Coach Carter. We don't play So I'm Hopeful, Yes I Am. No. Mm -mm. We don't play that in this movie theater. Uh-uh. So, I'm going to leave it there, baby. If these messages have brought you all clarity, comfort, closure, whatever it was you were looking for, again, I ask that you please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. Okay, it makes me feel like a room without a roof. Okay. Um, I love y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. I want the best for y'all. I don't play no games when it comes to y'all. Y'all know that. Okay, I want y'all to keep y'all head up. You already know you better keep that motherfucking bread up. And please, 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 please. Keep these hoes fed the fuck up. Y'all so they can shut the fuck up. Okay? I'm your girl, A. Nicole. All right? Um, this has been a pleasure to do. I am always honored um, to do these videos for you all. Okay? If you want to book your session with me, I'll leave that information below. If you want to join my Blue Crew membership, I'll also leave that information below. As well as how to connect with me off of here. My blogs, my podcasts, my workshops, my social media, everything. Okay? In the meantime, in between time, I will see y'all around. Bye-bye.